So despite the dangers, does this movement have the potential to bring down the regime? I put the question to Nobel laureate Shirin Ebadi. She was Iran's first female judge and she campaigns for the rights of women and girls in Iran. I began by asking her why the killing of Gina Masa Amini had united the nation in protest. The issue is not just the hijab. It's the pent-up demands of the Iranian people for the past 43 years. That is the reason why the smallest issue could lead to these protests, which is what happened. But of course, the killing of an innocent girl was no small issue. But it was enough to lead to such widespread protests. And I can say that at the time being, the people's problem is not the hijab. What is important and the people are constantly calling for is that the Islamic Republic should end. For 43 years, the Islamic Republic's regime has been oppressing the people. Enough is enough. I went on to ask Mrs. Ibadi if she believed the regime could be reformed or whether there was no alternative but for it to be overthrown. The people of Iran in the past 43 years have tried every possible way to reform the regime, but unfortunately to no avail. Now, for the for a few years, the people are unanimously calling for an end to the regime and a regime change. And you can clearly see that in the slogans chanted by the people. Now, as for what kind of regime they want, I can tell you what the slogan is at the moment. Woman life and freedom. And I will tell you what they mean by that. To realize this slogan can only be possible in a secular and democratic regime. The people with the slogan of woman, life, freedom, they know that this slogan cannot be realized in a despotic theocracy. In other words, the Islamic Republic of Iran. And in order to have to reach this slogan, to make sure it happens, they need to have a secular and democratic government. Well, Israel, of course, has been at war with the Ayatollah's regime for years. I asked Mrs. Ebadi if the Iranian people considered Israel as an ally in their struggle and if she believed the two countries could have a better relationship under a different regime. As you know, the Islamic Republic of Iran, since 1979, when it came to power, the, its main slogan was that Israel is the enemy. However, we have a substantial Jewish community in Iran. We had at the time, and many of them had to flee the country because the regime was harassing them. But we still have many Jews living in Iran. The people of Iran I have no problems with the people of Israel. We, the nations, we are uh, we are friends. It's the governments that are enemies of one another. The nations have never had any problems with each other or two nations. But as I said, based on the national interests of both countries. 
they could have uh, diplomatic relations and that would serve the national interests of both countries. I went on to ask about the nuclear accord, the JCPOA, and I asked Mrs. Abadi if she believed the fact that the United States and Europe had sought to negotiate with the regime had granted it an element of legitimacy. Here's what she had to say. Not at all. It is not giving any legitimacy to the regime. Yes, the, this, of course, the, the, the dialogue has angered the people. And the people have said on many occasions, do not sign any contracts with this regime because that would just strengthen this regime. Even if they do sign a contract, it should not strengthen the regime in any possible way. And it will not because the Iranian regime even if they lift the sanctions on Iran, the Iranian regime is not going to spend any money from any contract on the welfare of the people, but will buy arms for Lebanon's Hezbollah, Yemen, helping Bashar al-Assad in Syria, helping the militias in Iraq instead of the people. And we ended the interview by talking about the future. Did Shirin Ebadi have hope for her country moving forward? Take a listen. I am very hopeful about the future of Iran. Look, over 50% of our university students are female. 70% of the Iranian population is under the age of 30. Iran, Iranians have very uh, high technical knowledge. Our universities uh, uh, continue to be of high standard. Iran is very rich in minerals, in oil, in gas, copper, uranium, and so on and so forth. We have huge potential for advancement regime the only thing we need is a regime change and i really hope that would happen without any bloodshed and if a democratic and secular government comes to power be sure will be a far better country than it is at present moreover the whole region will be much calmer. But Democracy in Iran will lead to peace in the whole region.